say hi. Um, ocean's wide awake, as you can see. So you're just going to join me for the video, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, so welcome guys to the Mermaid Mama. If this is your first time here, my name is Hannah. I do videos on minimalism, veganism, waste-free living, conscious parenting, and tropical living. And today I'm pretty excited to show you. That's Toto in the background there. He's sitting on all the stuff I'm about to show you, so I might have to move him. Hey, buddy. Um, I'm pretty excited to show you my minimalist mama essentials. So, these are just the things that really, really help me stay um, waste-free, like reduce my, the amount of waste that is going into landfill. It helps me live really, really simply, and it also helps me stay really, really minimal as well with how much I own, how much I take out of the house, and also how much I need to purchase on a regular basis, which is pretty awesome, and that also helps us uh, reduce the amount of money that we are spending on a regular basis. So, let's get started. Okay, so this here is probably my number one thing. It's just a really large tote bag. This one here, you would have seen this. If you've seen my videos or you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen this before. I use it, I use it every single day. It's amazing. So this is from In The Soul Shine. This is quite tricky. I was planning on doing this with two hands, but we're just working with the baby, aren't we? Okay. So it's in the soul shine. You can see that there. Um, it's an amazing company. It's completely vegan. It's ethically made. And this is just, it's such a good size. Like, it's not too massive. Um, and it's just got one little pocket on the inside which you can put your cell phone in and the rest of it's just wide open It is so durable. It feels like denim like it's like a denim sort of material. So it's just super strong I've had this for Over a year and I use it all the time and you can use also use it for groceries So this is a really really great bag to take to the farmers market because it fits so much fruit in it So next up Toadies, off. Oh, good boy. <laughs> Toto was lying on this. This is my other, um, my number two essential. Oh my gosh, I just can't imagine what I would do without this. This is my ring sling, um, and it, it is what I use to carry ocean with me everywhere. Again, if you've watched my videos before, or you've seen, you follow me on Instagram, then you would have seen me using this. Um, I just can't rave enough about carriers, baby carriers, and this one is by the brand Secura, Secura, I think that's how you pronounce it, Where's the I will link all of these brands in the description box below as well. So yeah, this is a ring thing, so it goes like over the shoulder, and, um, and then she sits inside it like a little, it's like a little pouch for her. And it's, I love this because I do have a baby wrap, an organic wrap as well, which was great when she was a newborn, but they're quite complex to get on and off. You do get used to it, but it just takes a while to get them in and out of it. Whereas this, I can just take her in and out of it really easily and take it on and off really easily. So I found it to be a lot more simplistic, which that's what I'm all about. I want my life to be easy. I want it to be very minimalist. So this is great. Um, I would also like to get an ergo carrier, maybe when she's about six months old, because I've heard great things about those. So, highly recommend ring slings. They are just a lifesaver when you've got um, a baby, or even toddlers. Toddlers can go on them. All right, next up is my my moon cup and my reusable pads and liners. So these are liners. I use these. I wear them every day. I find it's just more comfortable like that. And these are my reusable pads that I wear, use with my moon cup. These ones are from Bear and Boho. And these, these are just, these are from different shops. I just went on Etsy and had a look, Etsy Australia, and just looked and I bought them from a whole lot of different shops. Hey. And they are amazing. Um, so the moon cup, if you don't know what a moon cup is, it is a uh, reusable menstrual 
menstrual cup for your period, obviously. And so what it does is, that one's made out of silicone, and so what it does is you, you insert it inside your vagina and it collects the blood as opposed to soaking up the blood like a tampon does. And they are amazing. Not only are they safer to use and just better for your body because they're not soaking things in and they're not made out of plastic, but they, they're just much gentler on your body and there's no safety risk if you leave them in for too long nothing bad is going to happen. I actually accidentally left it in, Toto left it in overnight and I didn't realize till the next morning and then that's how much you don't feel them. So they're amazing. There are so many different types. I highly, highly recommend them. And then once you've bought those, you don't ever have to buy stuff for your period again. They're amazing. So you save so much money. All right, so next up is this wet bag. So this is by Bear and Boho. So it's the same place that I buy the reusable uh, pads from and also where I get Ocean Snappies from which I'll show you in a moment. So this here, it's a wet bag. Sorry about my phone guys. And it's amazing. So at the moment it's got all of Ocean's reusable nappies, wipes, and clothes and anything else we need for her like gel for her tea for teether stuff like that it fits all in there and i can easily just pop this into my vegan vibes bag and these are just so so versatile so not only can you use them for babies but it, this is waterproof and so we have a second one that is currently being washed and that's for the dirty nappies so we have one for everything clean one for everything dirty and we use it not only for dirty nappies, but when we're at the beach and we're, we're finished, ready to go home, we can put all of the sandy, wet um, swimsuits and towels into that bag. Nothing else gets covered in sand. The sand and the water doesn't seep through all of my other stuff. And it's all just neat and tidy in one place. And then as soon as I get home, I unzip it and empty it straight into the washing machine. And it's so easy. And I can also put my reusable... Uh, liners or pads in there if I need to as well. So they're amazing. Um, they're just so versatile um, Even if you don't have a baby if you've got a child Especially a child that really likes getting dirty, you know getting into the dirt and the sand when they're outside Then they're just amazing and I just love keeping everything all kind of tidy and and organized so And clean so they're amazing. So there's quite a few different prints and this is yeah, that's what that one looks like. Awesome, I love them. All right, next up is, I'll show you her nappy in a minute, but she's feeding. So the other shells that we have are in the wash, so I can't show you that. All right, next up is, hey, my reusable cup. This one, so this is a reusable like coffee cup. I don't drink coffee, but this one is from The Source bulk foods and it's great so the reason why I have this even though I don't really drink coffee and I hardly ever buy drinks out of the house because honestly it, they cost a lot of money and I, because I don't drink coffee um, I just don't really find the need for it the, dr the drinks that I prefer are like smoothies and kombuchas and yeah they don't generally come in here um, but these are amazing if you are a coffee drinker or you do like getting takeaway drinks they're amazing but the reason that i really love these is that it's insulated and so when i'm at home and i make a hot drink i really really like herbal teas i can put it in here and <laughs> and if i forget to drink it straight away which let's face it i think we all do that as moms right like we make a hot drink and then we just we can't get to drinking it and it's really, really nice to have it sitting there and still be hot when we come back to it an hour later. <laughs> and the great thing about these as well is if you are sitting breastfeeding with a little wiggly, wiggly baby, like this little beauty, then they're kind of spill proof because you can just drink out of the little lid. So I like drinking kombucha out of this and herbal teas and even water sometimes. And they're just, they're really, really great. And obviously if you do get takeaway drinks, then this is how you can refuse plastic. You can keep 
It was really nasty plastic lined paper cups out of landfill and also the plastic lids. Just by stashing this with you, um, I often just take this in the car with me just in case. This is also really multi-purpose. You can use it to put snack in. I've, I've had put like, leftovers in here from restaurants. I'm going to turn that off so it stops speaking at me. Here we go. Um, yeah, I've put takeaway drinks in it um, on occasion. And yeah, leftovers, muesli, it's great. It's just like an all-in, like a multi-purpose item. And yeah, that one's from The Source, which is a bulk food store here in Australia. I think they have one in New Zealand as well in Auckland. All right, next up is my reusable bottle. I have two reusable drink bottles. I use them both all the time. Um, this one, I usually have my morning smoothie in it. This is a beautiful glass bottle and it's got a metal lid, which we like. And it's from this amazing organization called Save the Mermaids. Can you guys see that? It's quite hard to see it through the light. And then on the back, it's just got a little blurb about why we should not use single-use plastic bottles. They are just, they're awful. And so we want to keep those out of landfill and we don't, really, we don't want to be creating waste in that area. It's so nice. I find that I drink more water when I have a reusable bottle as well. And when I have a, I really like having one that's aesthetically pleasing as well. Um, it just helps me drink more water and I can enjoy it more and I take care of this. I've had this for about a year and a half. And yeah, it's still going strong. So yeah, get yourself a reusable bottle. I also have one from the source and that's an insulated one. So it's really great in summer when I want ice cold water. All right, next up, essential oils. This, this is just a brand that I got from the health food store. So I am trying to find um, a place where I can get doTERRA oils because um, I have been researching it and learning about how the higher quality oils are a lot better. So yeah, essential oils are amazing. My favorite is lavender. I also really love peppermint, which I use um, in the toothpaste. The lavender is just so calming, it's nice in the bath, it's nice as like a calming like mist spray mixed with some water. And I also really love tea tree oils which we use on any, you know, like any sort of pimples or cuts, grazes, that sort of thing. Um, and I also have a tea tree oil spray that I have made up with just some drops of tea tree oil and water and that is how um, I clean um, my hands when I'm out of the house. It's like a hand sanitizer and I also use it to clean the inside of the reusable nappy shells in between washes. So they're amazing and there are, there are just so many health benefits that I'm learning about with essential oils. They're really, really multi-purpose. I really love them. Okay, and next is this which is homemade baby balm and I have another one and it's got the same ingredients in it but it's in a separate container for hygiene reasons and this is baby balm for when Ocean has any sort of nappy rash and my lip balm is um, it's just in my little purse and what this is made of I made it myself I bought the container at a little box store and the uh, my lip balm is in an upcycled little container and all it is is cocoa butter coconut oil rosehip oil and a little bit of beeswax. I know beeswax is not vegan, but I made the decision to use it because I just get really, really chapped lips. I've been using chapsticks, chapstick since I was really, really young. And so I need something pretty strong to make sure that my lips don't feel dry. And I trialed a few vegan lip balms and there was one that I loved, but it came in plastic and I was going through a tube of it every week. and. You know, it's just one of those decisions that I made that I decided that I would rather buy this tiny amount of organic beeswax from a local honey, um, from a local beekeeper, which is, they supply it to the bulk store, so it comes completely package free, and I literally use about a tablespoon of beeswax every two to three months. 
So it's very, very little. And I decided that my overall environmental impact of using those plastic tubes every week and also the cost of them, one batch of that cost me about $2 and all the ingredients are organic. So that was just a decision that I made. And if you don't want to use beeswax, I totally get that as well because I prefer not to use animal products in any way. I don't use any other animal products at all. And so, yeah, but they're, they're amazing. It's really strong. Um, it, like it keeps my lips from being dry at all and it works wonderfully as a baby balm. And it's just so easy because I just make one batch of it every two to three months and then I separate it for myself and for Ocean. And it's just... Yeah, it's like a great multi-purpose balm, all organic, and it's awesome. And now I'm going to show you the last thing, which is her nappies. Hey, should we share them your nappies? Because all of your other nappies are in the wash. So, i show you just the ones that she's wearing. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Hey, Baba. You can come and sit with me while I show this. Oh, that's a shame, but I'm sorry. So, <laughs> this is what her nappies look like. They are obviously reusable nappies. And this is the balm. Should we show you? Oh, there we go. Whee! So they fit her really well. And they've got little domes. That's how they close. And they are amazing. I like how pretty they are as well. They are from Bear and Boho. They are the best reusable nappies I've ever used. They are amazing. What I really love about them is that they are so, they're really minimalist. They're definitely for minimalist mums. And let's face it, like, reusable nappies are not really that minimalist. They are obviously a little bit more work than disposable nappies because you have to wash them. However, <laughs> these ones are so easy and they're really inexpensive because we only have, we have about 25 liners and the liners are made with, I think these ones are made with hemp. And we've got one bamboo one as well. So it's a natural fiber, which is really, really nice to have a natural fiber against her skin. And then it clips into, it snaps into the nappy. I really wish I had one to show you, but they're all dirty, so I can't show them to you. Um, it snaps into the shell, the outer bit, and the shell is waterproof on the inside and so you can she can wear it multiple times and just snap out it's kind of like wearing un, um, underwear and having a reusable pad you don't take the whole underwear off when you need to change the pad you just take the pad out it's the same sort of system and so we only wash the nappies you know when they're like when they're really really dirty and so if there's like a little if they get a little bit soiled I just spritz my little tea tree oil and water spray over them wipe them clean with a reusable wipe which is my flannels and they are good to go and so that because of that we only have three of the shells the outer ones and she's only four and a half months old so she needs a lot of changes every day but they are just so practical and because we didn't have to buy a whole truckload of shells it cost us a lot less money so they're amazing highly recommend them from bear and boho and yeah it's it's an ethical ethical brand as well as in they are made ethically it's a mum who i have met here and yeah i just i really like supporting these like small companies especially of mums that are you know, working hard, getting these businesses started. It's it's really inspiring. So that's everything. I hope that was helpful, guys. I really enjoyed sharing this with you. Comment below if you've got any, like, minimalist essentials, whether you're a mum or not, that you just can't live without, that really, really help you. And thanks for watching. I love you guys. Do you want to say bye-bye? Do you want to say bye-bye? Yeah.